Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about cytoskeleton. Each cell has cytoskeleton inside the cytoplasm of the cell. The components of cytoskeleton include microtubules, microfilaments, also called actin filaments, also called thin filaments, and intermediate filaments. They contain three types of protein polymers, microtubules having 25 nanometer in diameter, polymers, actin filament 5 to 7 nanometer in diameter of the polymers, and intermediate filaments with 8 to 10 nanometer. Microtubules are semi-rigid tubular structure with wall composed of polymerized tubulin heterodiamers. So polymerized tubulin heterodiamers, their structure often changes with steady addition and also dissolution of the tubulin. So size is not static size changes according to the need so it may be increased it may be decreased by addition or dissolution of tubulins so this is one of the cytoskeleton microtubules they are semi-rigid tubular structure okay so this is the cross section of microtubule. This is semi rigid tubular structure. They are composed of tubulin, alpha tubulin, beta tubulin. Okay. And tubulin diamers, heterodiamers, like this. Okay. So they may be added, they may be separated. So the length of the microtubule is variable, and this is semi solid, not solid, semi solid. Microfilaments, thin filament, also called actin filaments, okay, are short, dynamic, flexible filaments of actin subunits, which changes length and interact with other protein. Okay, other protein means myosin protein, troponin, and tropomyosin protein. So these are in some cells will get different type of type of interaction of different type of proteins but they are short dynamic flexible filaments of actin subunits here these are the actin actin monomers okay then we'll go to the intermediate filament is most stable cytoskeleton component composed of various protein subunits in different cells okay so they may be they are different depending on their component subunits the subunits are vimentin nuclear laminin neurofilaments protein and the keratin so this is the intermediate filament this is the most stable cytoskeleton okay here inside the cell we are seeing the microfilaments this is the microfilaments intermediate filament intermediate filament here and this is the micro tubules this is the intermediate filament this is like this and this is more stable okay we got that intermediate filament this is more stable and it has different components according to the component they are different like the vimentin nuclear lemons neurofilaments protein and keratin okay so we got that microtubule this is the component the protofilament and this is the micro filament microtubule microfilament and the intermediate 
filament okay we got the microtubule microfilament okay now we we'll go here to know the functions of the cytoskeleton cytoskeleton has many functions they determine the shape of the cell and provide structural support so shape of the cell is not permanent it may change according to the demand plays an important role in the passage of organelles like the mitochondria free ribosomes the golgi apparatus okay and the cytoplasmic vesicles this is very important for endocytosis exocytosis allows the movement of the entire cell like the like the cells like like the phagocytic cells like neutrophil macrophages they stabilizes the intercellular junction like macula adherens genula adherens also intercalated disc area the cardiac muscle okay we'll get the cytoskeleton they assist in cytosol streaming and cell motility they help movement of the chromosome during cell division so mitotic spindle then the, there will be split of the centromere then the, there will be from one cell we will get two cell okay and the chromosome part will go to the pole again this is due to the shortening of the of the microtubules okay now learn some clinical correlation okay polymerization process is disrupted by an anti mitotic drug such as colchicin okay that block this is an anti gout drug in gout we 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 have severe pain specifically in the metatarsophalangeal joint okay so a lot of inflammatory cell come because we have the uric acid crystal poking on the synovial membrane of the joint so we need to need to disruption of the of the polymerization process by anti mitotic drug so the inflammatory cell will not be accumulated to the site of the inflammation or the gout area where the uric acid is irritating the synovial membrane okay so block the mitotic events in the inflammatory cell okay by binding to the tubulin molecules preventing their assembly into protofilaments okay let's get the highlights three major components of cytoskeleton what are those microfilament microtubule and intermediate filament what are the types of intermediate filament depends depends on the component like bimentin lemonin keratin okay so those are the, the those determine the type of the intermediate filament we have learned the functions of cytoskeleton shape of the cell internal trafficking inside the cell of the organelles vesicles and also help in cell division those are the functions of cytoskeleton and that's all about cytoskeleton if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now